Hey everybody, it's going to be a real quick video on some supplemental cleaning instructions for an Optima HD20. This optic assembly is functional. This is actually part of a projector that is having its power supply repaired. But I had a question from a viewer asking about cleaning the optic assembly. He was able to restore function by cleaning the color wheel sensor but he still has spots on the screen uh, from dust that's most likely in here. Now there's two ways to do it. The first way is the easiest. Now the optic assembly would still be in the projector uh, in most cases. I just happen to have it out because of the other work. So this is definitely the easier way. Uh, least amount of work to get into it. You take that Phillips head screw out and move the washer. And then this um, this metal cover. I think it's metal. It might be plastic. Yeah, it's metal. This cover just kind of lifts out. And it exposes the, uh, the internals where the DLP chip and projection lens are. There we are. So in there, you can see the DLP chip, that white, I'm not going to, no, maybe you guys can't see it. There it is, that reflecting colored object down there. So what you could do is just blow air in here. Use a can of air duster or an air compressor, and then just blow into there and the dust will come out. That's probably the best thing to do first. Otherwise, you have to remove the optic assembly, which involves removing the main board and everything else. So, I'll pretend you did that, and I'll show you what we do to clean from underneath. From underneath, uh, it's a little more complicated. The There's five screws that have to come out. There's one here, which I already took out. There's this one. And then one over here. And again, I'm doing this without a tripod, so please bear with me. And then I believe this is the last one. We're going to peel this grounding tape back. Let's see if that's it. Now, it feels like there's one more. So gently peel the grounding tape up. Oh no, that's it. It was just the tape holding it. Okay, so when this comes loose, don't just pick it up. Very carefully flip it over. These lenses are not glued in. They are just held in by pressure and... Um, what's the word? Friction. That's the word. So they may not come out way all right so these may not come out with this bottom piece they may stay in there the important thing is you want to make sure they don't fall out and get mixed up or point the wrong direction you can see the uh, convex side points inward on both of them and then it has that tilted lens which then takes the light that hits that mirror and feeds it into the DLP chip right there. So once you have it opened like this, you can really get in and clean it using uh, a cleaning cloth, such as a, a Kim wipe. Obviously don't touch the lenses with your uh, bare fingers. And same thing with the mirror. That's a first surface mirror, meaning it's coated on the face. So if you scratch it or touch it, you will ruin it. Once everything's clean, if you're fortunate and the mirror or mirrors, the lenses are stuck in this bottom assembly, you can carefully set it back into place. If you weren't fortunate enough to have the lenses stay in place, just pause the video a little bit back and invert them and put them back in your optic assembly. 
again the uh, convex side points in so big lens or thick lens convex side pointing that way and then the thin convex lens also points that way reflects the light off the mirror then hits that uh, tilted lens I think that's called the projection lens it might be the integrator lens I, I can't quite remember the official name but that's all there is to it um, important points again are don't touch any of the glass with your fingers use a uh, uh, optical Kim wipe or uh, maybe a microfiber cloth if you have one or just use compressed air you know, the important part is to get the big chunks of dust out don't worry about the little chunks then the last bit is uh, the light tunnel here just blow a little bit of air you know, maybe take your color wheel off and blow some air in there, but that's probably all right. I wouldn't even worry about that. In fact, disregard that. Don't worry. I'm sure the light tunnel's fine. So then the last screw goes back in. Oops. Maybe I should pay attention to the camera. Anyway. Ah, come on. There we go. And then once they're all back in, let's take this uh, grounding tape and just push it back down. It's not going to stick as well as it did, but it's just to keep static drained away. Because you remove the static, that helps prevent dust buildup. Oh, and of course, make sure you put that back on before you do any of this. And that's all there is to it. Once you screw the bottom back on, it should be clean reinstall it into the projector the same way you took it out. Uh, you can post any questions you have about doing this, uh, and if you have any other things you'd like to see or questions answered, let me know. Do that whole subscribe and like thing, because that'll help me out at some point. I'm almost at 200 subscribers. Never thought I'd have over 10. So everybody who does subscribe and watch, thank you, really. Seriously, thank you. And uh, take care. Thanks for watching.